Hi fitness friends! Today we're going to be doing Pain in the Glutes. It was written by our dear fitness friend named Kristen. So if you like this workout, make sure you tell her in the comments section. For this workout, I'll be using heavy weights, medium weights, and lighter weights. I'll also be using my 16 inch elevation and a ball. So if you have this equipment, go ahead and grab it and get ready to go for this routine. If you don't, I do recommend that you have some weights. If you don't have any equipment at all, you can still do this routine. You just won't be as challenging as it would be if you could at least add some resistance. Okay, we're working through this hit style. Kristen's workout is all timer based. I have added a mini butt pyramid to the end that we'll be counting the reps out for. So get yourself warmed up, grab your equipment, get some water, and let's get ready to get a pain in the glutes. All right, I hope you're all warmed up and ready to go. I'm gonna hit start on our first hip portion. This is 30 seconds on, five seconds off. We have four moves that we're gonna be working through three times, okay? So that's a seven minute section. These are pretty much glute activation moves, but you're gonna get a good sweat going here. 10 second countdown has started. I'll be using my ball in this portion and that is it, okay? We are beginning with a hip range with a walk in and out. So get down on your back, press those hips straight up in the air, walk one leg out, walk the other leg out, now walk that first leg back in, keep that hip up, other leg back in, and repeat. So this whole time you're keeping those hips up off the floor by squeezing your butt. Squeeze it. Nice job. Keep it going. You're here for 30 seconds. And we're switching in five seconds to a glute hyperextension. If you don't have a ball, you're laying flat on your belly on the floor and lifting and lowering your feet, squeezing your butt. I'm using my ball to do this, so I have a little bit of a bigger range of motion. Keep going. Nice work. Squeeze it. If you have ankle weights for these, add some resistance to this move. Make it a little harder. Okay. Next, we are doing hamstring ball curl. So you're back on your mat, your feet are up on your ball and you're pulling it in. If you don't have a ball, you can do sliders underneath your heels for this move, or you can do a glute bridge and just walk your feet in and out again. So basically, just repeat that first move we did if you don't have a ball or sliders. Keep those hips up. Stay with it. Nice job. Feel that burn. Okay. And our last move is an alternating bear crawl hold, ceiling stomp, and fire hydrant. So your knees are hovering, get one leg up, ceiling stomp it, fire hydrant, other side, ceiling, fire. Keep those knees up off the ground, hands are directly under your shoulders, back is flat, abs are tight. Breathe it out. Nice work. We're back to the top. So you're starting with that bridge hold, walking those feet in and out. Let's go. Out, out, in, in. Other side out first. Switch with the legs that you're walking in and out with. Keep those hips up, squeeze your butt. Make sure you're breathing. Job. All right, back to the glute hyperextensions on your ball or flat on the floor. Get down, let's go. Squeeze your butt. Nice work. Hamstring ball curl, so you're on your back on the floor. Get those feet up on top of your ball, pull it in. Keep those hips raised, squeeze your butt. 
I feel this like knives in my hamstrings. Good job. Stay here, keep that butt up. Don't rest it. Okay, get that ball out of your way. You have bear crawl holds, ceiling stomps, and fire hydrants. The knees are up, hands are under your armpits. Stomp it, fire hydrant. Stomp, fire hydrant. You're switching legs. Abs are tight, back is flat. Knees are hovering just a few inches off the floor. Nice work. You really feel that glute activation and squeeze with that ceiling stomp. Back to the top last time through. Bridge hold, step it out. Out, out, in, in. Keep going. You're walking it, keeping those hips up the whole time. Nice job. These moves are really great to start with for a booty routine. So you get it all activated, blood is already flowing to those glutes. Get it ready to work for you. All right. Hyper extensions on your ball or on the floor. Squeeze your butt. Nice job. Okay, on your back, get that ball under your feet. Hamstring pulls, here we go. Keep your butt off the floor, pull it in. Breathe it out. Stay here, keep that butt up. Don't let it sit down. These are only 30 second intervals. You got it.
three, and squeeze, repeat. Down, two, three, hold, two, three, up, two, three, squeeze, down, hold it, two, three, come up, two, three, make sure your form is tight, hold, come up, two, three, let's go, hold it, come up, let's go, last town, okay, set those weights down, I'm going to keep my weighted vest on, we have a lateral step up with a single leg squat on our elevation to a reverse lunge, so laterally step up, hold yourself up here, do a single leg squat, Come up, back down, reverse lunge, and repeat. If you don't have an elevation, you can just do a forward lunge or a side lunge into a pistol squat. If you can't do a pistol squat, just put a chair behind you, do a forward lunge, sit down to that chair. We are switching legs our second round of these moves. If you can't do pistol squats, it actually might be easier to do these on an elevation, only because you don't have to hold that leg so far in front of you to keep it up off the ground. Okay. Last move is a sumo squat with alternating lateral leg raises. I'm holding two 24 pound weights, resting them on my legs, keeping my toes out wide, knees out wide. Squat it down. Invest that weight on that leg for the leg raise. Down. Rest it, opposite leg raise. I'm moving my weights to the center for the squat. A little weight movement is fine. It never hurt anyone. Unless of course you're banging your legs when you move them. That would hurt. Come on, stay in it. Keep your chest up. Get nice and deep in that squat. Squeeze through your glutes and your inner thigh. Down, up, leg raise. Woo. Down, up. Okay, we're back to the top again. So, set those weights out of your way. We're doing the left to right hop burpee. Here we go. Get down, push up. Left hop, right hop. Hop it in, squat, hold, two hops. Repeat. sitting on a chair and hold, two, three, squeeze up, two, three, make sure you're breathing, come on up, get down, come on up, let's go down, two, three, hold it, two, three, come on up, two, three, nice work. Okay, we have the whew, lateral step ups, opposite leg this time. So, I'm gonna face the wall, here we go. Step it up, single leg squat, come back up, step down, reverse lunge. Up, pistol, down, reverse 
Backwards lunge. Up, pistol. Down, reverse lunge. Up, pistol. Down, reverse it. Nice work. Stay in it. Okay. Last is those sumos and alternating leg lifts. For the last time. So get those toes out wide, knees out wide, weights in the center for your squat. Rest them on your legs for the leg lifts. Squeeze it. Down, up, leg lift. Woo. Down, up, leg lift. Down, up. Guys, sweat is already dripping. That's a really good sign. Only second set in and we're soaking wet already. Stay here, 15 seconds. Nice work. Down. Squeeze up. Leg lift. Down. Squeeze up. Leg lift. Whew. All right, set your weights down. We're going to move on to our third set right away. We have 50 second intervals again, but we're going through our core moves three times, okay? Let's get it changed up. So this is a 12 minute round. We are beginning with a right leg step up, a knee up, and a glute raise, okay? Then we're going to a right leg Bulgarian and deadlift. And we're switching sides to our left leg for the Bulgarian deadlift and left leg step ups. Our 10 second countdown has started. I'm attempting to go with my full weight here. So right leg step up, knee up, Step down, glute raise it. Step up, knee up, step down, glute raise. Make that glute raise controlled, squeeze your butt. Nice work, knee raise, down, glute raise. Up, down, glute raise it. Up, down, glute raise. Control your movements. Nice job. Down. Glute raise. All right. We have Bulgarians and deadlifts. So I'm going to go 15 pounds in each hand for these. The deadlifts is what kills me on these. All right. Get that right leg out. Left leg back behind you. Bulgarian. Up. Deadlift. Down, up, deadlift it. Down, up, deadlift. If you don't have an elevation, you're doing forward lunges, knees up, and glute raises, and split lunges on the ground. So they're just staying in a static split lunge squat, coming up and down, and doing the deadlift just like I am. Your back leg just is not elevated. Stay here. Squeeze it. Okay, switch legs. Going back to my heavy weights for the left leg step up, knee ups, and glute raises. Here we go. It's on. Knee up, down, glute raise. Knee up, down. Glute raise it. Knee up, down, glute raise. Up, down, glute raise. Up, down, glute raise. Up, down. Nice job. Stay 
here. You got it. Okay, shake out your hands. Change your weights if you're going to. I'm going 15 pounds for the left leg. Bulgarian deadlifts. My left leg is out. Right leg is back on the step behind me. Get your positioning, get your balance. Rock it out, let's go. Down, up, deadlift. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings doing that deadlift. And a squeeze and burn when you pull it back up. Down, up. Good job. Stay here. You're at the bottom of one for our first round of this. We're going through these moves two more times. Woo, okay, switch your weights for the step ups. Right leg, step up, knee up, glute raise. Let's go. Step up, knee up, down, glute raise. Step up, knee up, down, glute raise it. Up, down. Keep your balance. I know it's getting tough, especially if you're holding heavy weights. Keep your abs tight, shoulders down. Hips straight, make your movements muscled. Don't just swing, stay here. Down. You're trying to get a pain in the glutes here, okay? So, if you're starting to feel that burn and you're starting to wobble, that's what the purpose is. You're supposed to feel that way. Let's go, Bulgarians. Deadlift. If you're not feeling that way, grab some heavier weights. If you don't have access to weights, save your milk jug gallons, fill them up with water, throw some gloves on, and hold them for those step ups. Let's go. Down, up, deadlift. Down, up. Deadlift. I've also seen people fill up socks with rice or sand for ankle weights. Like get a nice long sock tied around your ankle. They make step ups harder too. Okay, back to your heavy weights and left leg step ups. Here we go. Grab them. Step it up. Knee up, step down, glute raise. Up, knee up, down, glute raise. Let's go. Work that booty. Feel that burn. Oh yeah. Go. Down. Breathe it. Here, 
and we're repeating these moves for the last time. Stay in it. Squeeze. Woo. Okay. Heavy weights. Right leg step up. Last time. There is sweat just dripping in my elbow. Come on. Grab your weights. Step up. Right leg. Knee up. Bring it down. Glute raise. Knee up. Pulses and bicep curls. So 15 pounds in each hand, 
my best. Going through these moves twice, so it's only an eight minute interval. Come on, challenge yourself with your weight. Go heavy, make your arms shake, okay? This is where we bring the upper body into this pain in the glutes. All right, Three, starting with our curtsy. Here we go, put those weights up. Curtsy down, press, come back up. Y pull it in with those elbows. Down, press, Y pull. Down, press, Y pull. So I'm having my palms facing each other for that press. They're coming straight up above my shoulders and they're going out wide. Elbows are coming in for that Y pull. Up, you'll feel it in your lats, in your traps, in your shoulders, core, and your booty. This move is hitting everything. Get down, press, up. Pull it in. Okay, plies with the upright row. Toes out wide, knees out wide. Weights are in the center. You're coming down. And when we come back up, we're rowing out with our elbows wide. Weights come up to your chest. Nice work. You're working your traps here again. I even feel this in my forearms, the way you're holding the weights. A little bit of buys, a little bit of tries, mostly traps. Come on, stay in it. Squeeze, get as deep as you can in that plie squat. Squeeze through your inner thighs and butt. Stay here, you have 10 seconds. to left leg curtsies with the press and the wide pull. So grab those weights, get them up. Here we go. Curtsy, press, come up, wide pull. Press, up, wide pull. Press it, wide pull. 15 pounds is really getting heavy here. Come on, stay here. Ten seconds. Up. Okay. Plie pulses for three. Come up, do a bicep curl. Toes out wide, knees out wide, weights in the center. Pulse it. One, two, three. Turn the palms out. Up, bicep curl. Keep your elbows tight to your body. Here we go. Up, curl, down. Up. Curl, down. Oh. Oh. Down. Let's go. Two, three, come up. Curl it. Go down. You 15 seconds. Let's go. Up. Curl. Back to the top, guys. I'm dropping to 12 pounds for those presses and rise. I want to keep my form. I want it to burn, but I don't want to be faking it. All right, here we go. Weights up. Right leg curtsy. Press. Come up. Bring those elbows in for the Y pull. Up. Drop it. You should feel that eccentric Y pull in your lats. Eccentric means on the way down. Keep it going. Press up. 
Less than 10 seconds. Come on. We got it. Okay, I'm switching back to the 15s for the upright rows. And plies. Get your weights in front. Toes out wide, knees out wide. Here we go. Down, row it up. Elbows out. Weights to your chest. Abs are tight, back is straight. Shoulders stay down away from your ears. You're not hunching them up. This is not a shrug. This is an upright row. Down. Up. Good job. Keep going. You have less than 20 seconds here. Down. Up. Row. Down. Up. Row. Whew. Two and one. Going back to the 12s. Feel the left leg turkeys. Presses the wise. All right, here we go. Get those weights up. Nice deep curtsy. Press. Come up. Why pull? Don't rest those weights on your shoulders in between. You're pulling it down, holding them up, getting ready to press again. Here we go. Press. Pull. Nice job. Up. Down. 10 seconds. Let's go. Stay here. Nice work. Okay. Back to the 15s for my bicep curls and for your pulses. Weights come down in front of you, palms facing forward. Let's go. Three pulses. One, two, three. Squeeze up and curl. Elbows are tight. You're not swinging your weights. You're squeezing, making a muscle with those biceps. Down. Nice job. Up. Curl. Down. Three pulses. Up. Curl. Down. This is our last 50 second interval in this whole routine, okay? So, finish it strong. We have 30 second intervals after this. Curl. Down. Five seconds. Up. Curl. Down. Nice work. Set down those weights. I'm going to switch my timer to 30 seconds on, five seconds off. Four new moves. I'm taking off my vest for these. We're starting with an inchworm hop to a push up jack. So that's when you're jacking your feet out and doing a push up, okay? Hitting start on our 10 second countdown. So, inchworm hops to the push up jack, and then either hop back up or walk it back up, however you feel. Let's go. Inchworm hop it down. Push up jack, so jack those feet out, hop it in, walk it back up, or jump it back up. It's up to you. Stand up tall, go again. Stand up tall. Repeat. Nice work. Keep your back straight, your abs tight, get your butt down. Good job. Moving straight on to the frog hip bridge hold, kick out. Five second interval, sorry. Knees out wide, feet together, squeeze those butt. It's up in the air, kick out. In, out, in. Your legs are going out at a 45 degree angle here. Hinging at the knee, staying out wide. Why don't you go ahead and point your toe, flex that whole quad, make that muscle tight. All right, coming back up, moving on to Superman's and explosive push ups with a knee tuck. So, Superman. Neck is straight, 
Explosive push up, knee tuck, explosive push up, knee tuck. Superman again. Superman. Keep your neck in line with your spine. Don't go stringing your neck here. Okay, on your back, we are putting your feet together again. Maybe those legs up and down and in and out for a circle. So, knees out, in, out, up, and down. So this is similar to the ab leg raise, but you're going in a frog style. Squeeze your stomach, keep those abs tight, sucked in, your lower back is flat against the mat. Okay, back to the top. Interim hops, push-up jacks. Let's go. Hop it down. Jack it out. Hop it back up if you can. Stand tall. Repeat. Work on that plyometric explosiveness with your arms. Let's go. hip bridge holds, leg kick out, toes to out wide, toes together, kick it, down, down, okay, down, down, squeeze those glutes, make that whole quad tight, down, down, don't rest your butt, come on, stay here, All right, flip it over. You have the Superman. So you're down. Back extension. Explosive push up. Knee tuck. Explosive push up. Knee tuck. Repeat. Don't hold your breath. So, in, out, up, and around. Press your back to the mat. I'll help you soon, so I'm done, okay? Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're sucking in your stomach. Keeping those abs tight. If you need support, you can put your hands underneath your butt or your lower back. Keep it going. All right, back to the top, last round. Into our hops, push up jack. Here we go. Hop it down. Push up jack. Hop it back up if you can. This is your last time doing this move. Go again. Walk it back up if you can't hop anymore. Let's go. Nice job. Glute bridge hold. Kick those legs out. And feet are together. Come on, make it quad leg muscle. Work everything here. Squeeze that whole leg, make it tight. Point your toe like you're a ballerina. Even if you don't feel very graceful right now. So I sure don't, but come on, work it. All right. What's the next move? Superman. Knee tucks. Let's go. Explosive push up. Knee tuck. Push up. Knee tuck. Superman. Okay. Oh, we have those ab leg circles. 
goals. This is your last interval. Here we go. Up and around. Keep your heels and toes together. Breathe it out. pyramid to this routine. So, you're going to stay with me. Let's stick it out and do it, okay? We have starting at 30, decreasing by five reps for each move. We're not repeating a single move. So, beginning with 30 weighted chair lunges. So, putting on my weighted vest, and I'm going to hold one 24-pound weight at my chest, okay? Like a goblet. And we're doing 30 chair lunges, counting on one leg only, okay? So, don't think about it too much, let's just do it. Hold that weight at your chest, goblet style, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, come on, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, all right. Drop that weight. Oh, okay. Twenty-five sumo jump squats is next. Catch your breath. Grab a weight if you want to hold one. I'm going with the 24 held down between my legs. Toes out wide, knees out wide. Let's do it. One, two, three, Press up 
You're reaching over your opposite shoulder, keeping those hips elevated. Chest press, head banger. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on, we have ten more. Keep that butt up. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five more. Eleven. Stay here. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. My arms are shaking. My glute is burning. Nice job. Okay. We're doing pendulum lunge hops. So you're lunging out, forward lunge hop, backward lunge hop. That's one rep. We're doing 10 on each leg. So I'm gonna put my vest on and I'm gonna try to hold 12 pounds in each hand. So choose the weight that you wanna to use to challenge yourself. We're not alternating. We're doing 10 on one leg, then 10 on the other. Right. Let's do it. We're almost to the bottom of this pyramid, so make this work hard for you. Burn it out. Give yourself the permission that you need to drop your weights if you have to, okay? So, let's go. Lunge forward, hop, back, hop. That's one. Two. Burpee. And then we're done. 
So stay with me. Count to five. Don't think about it. Let's go. Push up. Hop it in. One, two, three, four. That's one. Thank you.